Right, it's a very dreary Sunday afternoon, overcast, very still, quite cool. So we're in the uh, polytunnel, because yesterday I uh, shifted a few plants about and sorted out a bit of the greenhouse and moved some of the stuff that started to come to life in the polytunnel where it gets a bit more light this time of year and does start to warm up during the day when we get a bit of sun. Um, like I say, it's pretty cool today. Current temperature's only eight and a half degrees. Um, did have a couple of cold nights during the week, so we're down to nearly zero. But we've had some highs of 20 degrees in here. So like I say, when the, when the sun comes out, it does get quite pleasant in here and I thought we'd have a sort of look at some of the plants that are maybe looking to come back into life and yeah these are sort of mainly sort of propagations we've been doing um, from last year sort of digging up plants and chopping and dividing and whatnot and uh, some of the stuff I hope to be say selling I do sell some plants but I'd much rather do swaps um, not too worried about the money just uh, I'd rather like I say as there's a few local viewers I know so I'm always up for a swap something I haven't got but anyway let's have a look at some plants so mainly on here we've got a uh, petasites Parmatum, which is like a we've got a few leaves on them, so the leaves get quite large on these, and uh, gold spotted and sort of a sort of palmate style leaf, and these are starting to come back into life, so they do die down over winter. This is a nice uh, plant for a damp shade; it does quite well. And uh, in general, like we say, we can see on this particular specimen there, they tend to uh, send up the flowers first and then leaves after. So all these pots, we can see just about every single one, there's signs of life shooting up. So yeah, I mean, the ones in the ground, I can, I can see a couple of areas where there's a bit of green poking, but these are going to be slightly giving a head start in the polytunnel. So I've got a lot of these, so some I'm going to go, go and put back in other areas in the garden. I'll have a lot for sale stroke swaps come spring. Um, so we've also got some variegated Arando Danex, which is normally evergreen, but we've had some real cold arctic blasts as we know, so some of the foliage has died back on these, so these are propagations I've done from middle of summer last year. But um, already we're getting some, again, some new growth on these. We've got some new shoots coming up in areas, so come sort of mid-spring, we should get a nice full pot of new growth and uh, plenty of them to shift on as well. Um, we've also got the tetrapanics which is start to come back into life now so the, the, m most of the leaves from last year have died off. These were again like most of these plants in the uh, greenhouse over winter and now I've moved them in here to get them started off early so these tetrapanics uh, the old leaves obviously from last year but they're starting to get some new growth on there the leaves here so that they'll get a good start good head start for spring stroke early summer and they should be decent sized plants by then also got uh, underneath here 
These are, we've got two types of uh, fats headrests. We've got the plain green type, which were just uh, cuttings from last year. We've also got the uh, variegated leaf type as well. So we've got a few cuttings of that. And I've also got a lot of uh, cast iron plants there, which are uh, all sort of uh, offsets of the, the main clump I've got. Got a lot of canners in pots in here as well. And believe it or not, these are starting to come into life. So we've got some new shoots in a lot of these. So let's have a look. See a little green tip on this one here, and again here. So the canners are starting to slow but sure that they'll start to pop up, and we've got a uh, quite a few canners along, also underneath the benches and at the front here as well. So a lot of them have got new growth coming. So we've got a mixture of canners. Everything from uh, Tropicana Black to um, Intica and we've got some uh, banana canners as well. And also, we've got a fish tank here inside a polytunnel so it gets sort of double warm when the sun comes out if you like it definitely warms up a lot better in there and also that helps keep the humidity up and what we've got in here are the collocations so mainly pink china might have some uh, escalante and that sort of thing in here as well and just having a little sneak peek there's a couple that have got green shoots so they are starting to wake up now as well so yeah we'll have a lot of uh Collocations in the way of pink china and some couple of other types as well. So yeah, I know it's not a usual sort of video, but we're just looking at some of the stuff that we've uh, moved about and start to come back into life and stuff we can get a head start on. Obviously, you can't go through everything, and eventually, when this stuff starts growing and spring kicks in properly most of this stuff will go on the floor underneath the benches and we'll get the seed trays on here and we'll start some seeds as well but, um, I'm still looking into what seeds I want to do this year I think it's still a little bit too early to start seeds off indoors for my liking because you know light levels still aren't strong enough and you get sort of stretched seedlings rather than sort of healthy ones obviously if you've got a heated propagate with grow lights that sort of thing then you can seed all year round that's not a problem but for me I, I like to do stuff in the spring when it starts to light levels improve and temperatures improve whatnot um so yeah I'm just hoping I've just been watching the some of the weather forecasts for the possible beast from the east at the end of February stroke beginning of March so uh, it's still too early to say, but I'm not not too happy if uh, that does materialise. But, you know, what can you do? So it's been quite a nice week up till now. It's been quite sunny and it's been feeling like spring. But um, definitely not today. It's quite chilly. So that's just a little look at some of the plants we're trying to start off early. Um... And hopefully we don't get this beast from the east and uh, things will go according to plan and carry on growing. But um, again, depending on how severe, if we do get it, um, I might, be, might have to put some sort of temporary heating in here just to stop things from sort of freezing. But still early days. And uh, I always uh, like to look on the bright side and hopefully be positive it's not going to hit us. Um, I think we'll leave it there. 
like I say, really just a sort of a just a quick one on there. Uh, what we're starting off early, and uh, possibly for like I say for the people who are local to me, what's going to be on offer? Just a small taste. I've got loads of other plants to to. I do like a. Uh, I like to call it a pop-up shop, which is going to be in here, and that's going to be uh, literally just from April to June, maybe, just to have a few months of sort of moving excess plants about, and you know, hopefully get some swaps in and what, whatever. But yeah, that's the plan. Um, right. We'll leave it there. Thanks for watching.